Hello, it is June 2nd, 2012 at 5.37 p.m. Central Standard Time, um, actually Central Daylight Time. I want to show you here, um, we have what I call a longitude wave signature showing up. First of all, there's a preamble one coming right here um, on June 1st at 1915 UTC. And you can see it, it's showing pretty visibly right in here, but, but here it's kind of hidden behind another layer. But what's interesting about this is it's, you can still see it showing up right here. See how it comes across this corner of Oklahoma and it's going right near the New Madrid area. Now I'm going to show you, we're going to go a little further on through the night. There we go. Right here. Here's a really severe one showing up 1315 UTC on July 2nd. And you can see, if I zoom in here, that it, this bottom line, this bottom signature is falling right in the same place as the other one was, right across this corner of Oklahoma and going up here right in the New Madrid area. Let me unzoom, play that through. Let's go forward. <laughs> Always going backwards. And you can see we have this little pumping action thing happening also. Let's go look at a really close-up shot of the New Madrid area. New Madrid's right, right in here. And you can see this cloud rise up right here. And let me show you. This is dawn. And right here, see this right here? Let me zoom in. Go back a frame. Go forward. Right there, see this This shows up? This is at 1315 UTC when that um, strong longitudinal wave signature showed up. So let me unzoom here, and then you can watch this build up right in here. And then at some point, let's see when exactly, right here, it breaks into four. So there's one here, 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 and here, and this one starts dissipating. And that happens Oh, I don't know if there's an exact spot. Probably around 1715, 1815. And you can see there's lots of wave action. Let me go ahead and let that play through a couple times. Let me slow it down a touch. This is, oh, right up in here somewhere. So I'm going to talk about that next. Let's go look at the radar. And you can see this build up. And look at these funny little waves. Right in here is a wave, right in here is a set of waves, here's a set of waves. And there's also a flash up here in um, St. Louis. And I these little waves, I don't know, they, they keep running across the middle of the Dopplers. And they have a purpose, but I can't quite figure out what it is. But there's like one here, one here, one here. And sometimes when they run across the Dopplers, things happen, sometimes not. We also have this oh, seaweed looking effect, and that's usually an indication of harp, as well as we've got these strong edges showing up on the radars. Let's go look at the St. Louis here. And let me go ahead and load St. Louis if it will load. My computer is so seriously compromised that people just tap in and tap out whenever <laughs> they want. I mean, my loops will close down all kinds of action. But anyway, it keeps life exciting. So um, you can kind of see some of those wave effects going on here. I'm not sure that flash is showing. Yeah, right in here. We're just catching it going forward. I think that just, it just disappeared right there. And I'm looking right here is where I'm looking. So at 2111 on July 2nd UTC, that disappears. Um, right along with this, let's go look at the, this is University of Utah. It's the troposphere report. You can see that we get these, um, let's go back a little bit. 
how far will it let me go? Yeah, it's not changing here. So we're going back 12 hours here. And you can see that we're, we're getting, on the tropospheric pressure, we're getting pressure areas right here, we're the same place where that signature was coming in. And here, as you can see at, let's see, this is July 2nd at 6 UTC. You can see a real high pressure point right in here. Let's see, it's at 6. This is at 12 UTC, and then that flash is at 13, the second one, the heavy one. And we're, let's see. Okay, so that this is 12 UTC plus 6 hours. So we're looking in the future, so that would be 18 UTC. And we're not there yet, I don't think. Let's see, what time UTC is it? Oh, we're close. So anyway, you can see, as I just kind of scroll through here, how that moves, going backwards, coming through. But right where that signature was is we're getting these dense areas, especially right in here. And then also, oh, for some reason, this undid itself. Let's see if it'll load. Yeah. And I found something interesting the other day is um, if you click on these BX, BY, and BZ, you get a whole different perspective. So at 13 UTCs, right in here is where all the static is getting heavy. You can see that there was harp activity right there. And here it's not showing as much. And this is where you'll get the um, musical scale effect. It's not happening right now, but it's been happening. Um, and, uh, we're not going to address that right now. But you can, you can go back in time and, and see that. And let's look at the last 12 hours. Loading slow. So in the meantime, let's look at the spectrum monitor waterfall. You can see that intense signature, about 18 UTC, is right here. It goes way up into the 30 megahertz area. And now let's see if this loaded. And here's that one right here, that intense one. So it's going the full spectrum, well, as much as we're seeing anyway. And then this is X, Y, and Z again. And you can see right here that around 13, 15 UTC you're getting some high activity. So anyway, I think I showed you everything I needed to show you. God bless you. Have a good rest of the day. Sorry I haven't been around much. Um, Lord has me doing other things. So God bless you.